Good morning, church. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. You have on your table faith confession for your dear one. This is a message from the I believe you have received your copy. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. I was also watching along with you. Well, I I nearly forgot it myself because I was I was enjoying the dance, the testimony, the message. Let me say happy Easter. That is the ceremony. I saw the children carry. Uh, what I want you to know that this are uh, tradition, but we are still coming back to that. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I can hear you. You have Palm Sunday today. Glory be to God. Um. I was enjoying the message from the wise uh, Rasin. What a wonderful message! And I know your faith is little now. I don't know. I I know. I know. I, I will not say I don't know. I know. I can hear you. Leave us home. I salute your faith and your time because you know God has a great thing in store for you. That is why you are still waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Hallelujah. Where will I start the greeting? Where? From you. Good morning, sir. What of this direction? Oh, viewers, viewers over there. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I, I, I want to believe God has uh, some message to us, for a summary of what we have been seeing this morning, because I will not want to go too far. Just summary, what we have been seeing this morning. Mm, we have seen so much, the testimony of the people. I was watching a gentleman, the first testimony that was given, a gentleman that uh, that was testify about uh, uh, how he touched the screen and uh, he was delivered from some kind spirit. I watched and I, I the spirit of God was telling me that uh, they had to replay it again for the viewer because I I noticed in the spirit that some were trying to array the table at the time they were giving testimony. And some were also trying to get food from one place to another. And some were trying to dress up. But you see, ah, I heard it in the spirit. A family was saying, oh, I missed that testimony. I missed that testimony. So this is why the Spirit of God said I should call on the, the church to repeat the testimony. Hallelujah. And then all, all of that. We have all that testimony too. We are waiting to hear. But, uh, you know, time will permit us. Before that testimony, let us uh, look at where we were coming from yes, last Sunday. We were talking about um, confession and the belief in our hearts. And that was, has been over three to four weeks now. Uh, yes, if we have a few minutes to talk about that. Let me take you to the book of uh, John 3. John 3. I 
needed to talk about that. You are there? And that is just Jesus teaches Nicodemus. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi. That is the traditional way of greeting, like you say, Emmanuel. We know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the sign you are doing if God were not with him. That is the signs and wonder if God were not with him. He came to Jesus at night. You know, I, 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 my, my strongly belief is that a faith must grow. It, it must start little. If one faith must grow, it must start what? Little. When any any time you see someone, ah, God is there, God is there, just suddenly, and you say, I, I will die there, I will die there. Yeah, this is where I will die. Very soon. You hear another confession. He just said, don't die there. If your faith must grow, it must start what? Little. Just like you are, you know, you are once an embryo in your mother's womb. Today, look at what you are. A little embryo. Now becoming big, 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 big. If, if something starts big, something big starts big. If something starts big, it calls for consign. Even your business, you start business and it starts big. Ah, you have to start running. Fast and pray. Something is, is a bad sign. Are you with me? Because uh, miracle, 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 say, ah, I'm a Christian, God loves me. You just start this day today, and you become a billionaire. Uh, you soon become a billion cover. If not, it's zero. So because we have to be very careful, because everything demands for times and preparation. Everything. Good, good, wonderful. Demise for war. Time and preparation. This is why you see Nicodemus. Jesus was not a rude brother. When he came to him, he denied. So no, allow him to come. If one faith must grow, it must start little. He was no brother. Let's go to the verse uh, of our proof test because I told you we soon move to another session. Let's go to the proof test. Verse 15. That everyone who believes may have what? Internal life. In who? In who? In you? Can anyone have internal life in you? Is it internal, internal life? I want to live eternal life. Mm, I want to live eternal life. Hmm. Listen to that. You want to live in eternal life? Can anyone live in you? Huh? When you two are running it for refuge. Oh no! In Him, in God. Hallelujah. He said, "This last week we talked. We thought about believing. This issue of belief, it, it has become an issue. Everyone come to say, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. How many actually believe in their heart? And you say, Jesus is your Lord. How many of you believe in the heart? If you believe Jesus in your heart, if what you confess is what you believe in your heart, your life will not like this. You will not 
experience what you are experiencing because you never pray for his sickness. Here is sickness. You never pray for, for, for poverty. Here is poverty. It's true. Different things you confess and different things you believe. Your heart and your mouth are not in accord in your confession. If what you say is what you believe genuinely, sky will be your limit. Hallelujah. The problem of believing is made easy if we know that it is acting on what God has spoken. Are you with me? The problem of believing is made easy, made simple. If you know that it is acting on what God has spoken, The Spirit makes us know that believing is possessing. The instant you believe, the you have it is yours. Instant. You say you believe Jesus is Lord. Instant you believe. This it is yours. You have. The Spirit of God makes us know that believing is possessing. With the heart, man believe that Jesus is righteousness. Jesus is savior. Jesus is healer, deliverer. With the heart, not mouth. Not mouth alone. With the heart. I, I I meet a lot of people expressing this desire to be filled, to be spirit filled. When well, you made this one, anoint me, made this one, give me power, where is power? Give me the give me the everyone. I meet a lot of people, even today. A lot, a lot, a lot expressing the desire to be spirit filled. I applaud that. I love that. What a wonderful thing. But you must know that you must be grounded in the word of God before you are spirit filled you must be what you must be what you must be granted in the word of God before you are spirit filled yes there will be nothing there in your heart for the spirit to remind you of. If your if your heart is empty and your spirit filled, there, there will be nothing for the spirit to act on. 
you know the spirit our act our our spirit acts upon the way the more you think about what you read the more your spirit acts upon the word let someone say where to heart when i say heart i mean spirit your spirit your spirit may heart where to heart the more you the more the more you become part of the word the more your spirit acts upon the word the more you become part of the word and when you become part of the word by nature it changes you you can know christian you can know who is not christian when i meet a man approaches me emotionally havoc and disturbance i know the word of god is not dominating in his life Hey, this one I know is empty. You can know Christian and you can know those who are not. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Give me the bearing Joshua, Prophet Joshua, Prophet uh, TV Joshua, the maybe be bearing whatever name you call it, Bishop or whatever. Hey man, go help me. You know, it's empty. Because living in the way, the word of God, in times of trial and temptation, will assist us to respond by the Holy Spirit. People today, we talk about our battle instead of the one who is fighting for us. I have headache, I have stomach pain, I have this, I have that, I have that, I have that. We often all the time talk about our battle, about trouble, instead of the one fighting for us. We respond to reason instead of the word of God. If there's anything we have faith in today, it is in man. What man has done, science, works, organization. On the word of God is letting Christ through you. Acting on the word of God then gives God an opportunity to look. Oh, oh, what do you want me to do for you? Why we come out the, the spirit of it inspire us one of
of the greatest hatos you have is this. One of the greatest faith tools you have is faith bracelets. Cherish it. Meditate in the way. Is a visit with God. You want to visit Him? All the time when you are alone today, people talk about their Tao instead of their faith. People focus on their enemy instead of their comforter. Here is faith bracelets. Faith bracelets. When I see, look at. Wonderful. I think I I, I need to call out cup black this faith bracelet and withdraw it from people because I, they, we don't know what we have because look, you are sitting down washing instead of you to continue to fire who is the man talking because the bible says man has the power to talk but holy spirit talks as a way you don't know whether it's the holy spirit that is talking to you or tv joshua is the one just talking but you are here for the holy spirit god Instead of you to be fire, as before I will finish message, you are supposed to say vision, revelation, or oh. but you are sitting down wearing your faith bracelets as it's a fashion. If you can have it, I mean, if you cannot exercise it in the ministry in the church here, is it how you exercise it? You must be addicted to it. The place of the unseen Christ. So this is why meditate. The word of God take a place of the unseen Christ. so much disappointment when you know the word of God because the one you what the way you are obeying is not the one the Holy Spirit spoke in when you obey the way the Holy Spirit spoke in it will be well with you it is the Holy Spirit that gave word if Holy Spirit has not given you the way and you have the word of God and it's not the Holy Spirit that gave you it is of yourself not of God Jesus, 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 fast, Jesus, Jesus. But the way you are speaking is not of the Holy Spirit. When you obey the way that is spoken by the Holy Spirit, in times of conflict and suffering, you grow and mature. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor, if you obey the word that is spoken by the Holy Spirit, in time of suffering and conflict, you grow and mature. Suffering, conflict, and the soil, you grow. In time of trial.
trouble when you obey the word that is spoken by the holy spirit in time of trouble and tribulation you will see yourself grow and mature because trial is the soil in which faith flourish so that's true you have not been the way you are obeying is not the one that is given by the holy spirit you hear go you go who has you to go depend on who asks you to go jump jump so you obey those where good who gave you the way go jump so this is why the last meeting i told you you sh must read your bible slowly attentively and what repeatedly you may understand what you are reading but holy spirit must carry you along no matter the understanding if Holy Spirit is not carrying you along and you go, the Holy Spirit is our comforter, defender, just, redeemer. So I want to leave you because uh, I mean, we have a lot of program to do today. But let me leave you here that. must obey the word that is spoken by the Holy Spirit. When you obey the word that is spoken by the Holy Spirit, in time of tribulation, you will grow and mature. Listen, you know what? The Holy Spirit has a mind. Man has ability to decide. You can decide, oh, I'm going this way. And the Holy Spirit has the power of choice. Man has ability to decide. You can decide, you can, okay. This is why God gives us discretion. Look at, at full of bestia. When Jesus met this man, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Do you want me to help you? He need to ask. The man could say, hey, yeah, no, no, I don't need your help. Go. And Jesus said, Thank you, and you leave. Discretion. Man has the ability to decide. You can decide to go, as I'm talking now, you can just stand up and be going home. The Spirit of God will not force you. No, no, wait. You can choose, to, oh, no, 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 I'm going home, and you go. The Holy Spirit has the power of choice. This teaching and preaching and Counseling. Man has the ability to teach the Bible, to preach and to pray. Man has the ability on his own. He can choose to send away to the name of Jesus. I can come to us, come to the altar and begin. Praise the Lord and preach swiftest message that everybody will shout and they, oh what a wonderful message man has that ability but the Holy Spirit teaches pray and preach as a way so the question now is you pray 
by what authority you preach by what authority you do this you do that by what authority because everything we Christians do demands for corresponding power everything when you want to sit down it demands for what power from above to sit down and at the same time you can choose to sit down on your own as you are sitting down if you want to stand as a Christian you need power from above to stand up and at the same time you can choose to stand up on your own this is why the Bible says the one from above is above all you can choose you, you can, to look you need power from above to look and at the same time you can choose to look on your now to pray you need grace from above and you can choose to pray on your own without corresponding to dress up you, you everything about you because this is why you say the life i live is not mine from what so what is wrong what is your case a visit with god you see i'm moving i'm going i can choose to be going up down up down but as a christian as a pastor as a a, a prophet of god i need grace from above to go up and down corresponding power to move around and i can choose to do that on my own but i need corresponding power to move around can you see the life we live so next week we talk about from above we call it corresponding grace and when you require you ask i want to pray and you cannot hear you have to tarry 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 does not mean you will not do it but wait today why say man of god pray for me every time prayer above power
above all. Are you are you with me? I want you to just be on your stand and hear this once again. You need corresponding grace. Power from above. Because you are not on the earth. You are from above. But at the same time, you can do it, you can do anything on your own. But for your security, you need grace from above to talk, to sit, like you are standing now. Before you can, we need to know how much we need God. You want to sit down, you need grace. We call it intimation. Intimation, that's a suggestion always from the Spirit of God. Suggestion. Okay, do it this way. Do it that way. Do it this way. Do it that way. Intimation. But today, what has happened to us? We just we choose to live. We have disconnected. Just, just. This is why we have disconnected. We live free life. This is area you have to face your prayer now. This is why you have faith bracelets. All this prayer you pray that this one is, is after me. God, give me the grace to stand against who is after you. When there is intimation, suggestion from the Spirit. Do this, do that, do this. this is, take more of me, O oh Lord. Because we are more of ourselves. And give me more of you. Take more of me. And give me more of you. More of your faithfulness, I need it. Your kindness, I need it. Your obedience, take more of me. More of me. There's so much unfaithfulness, so much disobedience, hatred in us. So much pride, arrogance. We are more of ourselves. We are more of ourselves. This is why we measure our Christian life by blessing we receive. If you have breakthrough today, you believe oh, I'm a Christian. God hear my prayer. But when you are not, when you pray and your prayer is, it's not for to bring answer. You say you are not a Christian. We measure ourselves by our situation. When it's all well, you say, glory be to God, thank you, Jesus. When it's difficult for us, we begin to look at Jesus in a bad light, as if we are not Christian. <laughs> we measure our Christian life by our world. last you dream and that dream come to pass and exact what you dream about or you have vision and it's just exact and you wake up and the way the dream and the vision was when last that is to be the your food of your spirit you don't dream Nightmare. You don't even understand your dream any longer. So what kind of life is that? What ness? What is God's opinion about you? 
And what is God's opinion about people around you? You don't know. What kind of life is this? Life without direction. There is no direction to the spirit states of the spirit. When last? This is why we are here. You may be seated. any prayer now to restore you you have a role to play the glory to restore that glory you have a role to play now meditation in the world make the world a part of us You are given a way that has been anointed to for you. Take more of me and give me more of you, O oh Lord. Take more. Like you are sitting down now. I'm not expecting anyone to be sitting down looking. You are supposed to agree with me. Yes, take more of me. While you are listening, at the same time, take more of me. Give me more of you. More of your faithfulness. Because you are not faithful. And if you are faithful, what? Of, of what benefits? More of your faithfulness, your kindness, your goodness, your self-control. Oh Lord, take more of me. Give me more of you. 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 This is what I'm expecting you. You hold it, begin to and can with your hand and talk with your heart. You shouldn't talk out, talk it out. Talk with your heart and count it with your wall. With your hand. Look at my hand. You can't hear anything from me, but I will talk it in with my heart. And you continue like that, continue like that, continue. Addicted to that, addicted to that, addicted to that. When you want to sleep in the night and you lie on the bed, it should be the last thing to do. After you lie down, you hold it on your bed. You just, until you finally sleep off. What a wonderful journey. And you wake up in the morning, you look for it again. Right on the bed, before you begin to look for your altar, you don't need to move to the altar. Lie down there, open your eye and sound fire bread before you go to your restroom. If you wake up at midnight, maybe by, by chance something just wake you. Pick it again. This is it. Take more of me. It, when, when you need to say a different prayer, you will know. Because there, are, there, is, there is need for you to be restored. You need to be restored. It's not your, no miracle can solve your problem. If today you receive trillion dollars, that cannot solve your problem. Because already you are disconnected. The money will go... Even the money will create more problem for you. More problem. Because there is no direction already. You have cut off cut off with the source, God. And if miracle now come, who will direct you how to spend the money? Anybody can receive miracle. Miracle does not make you, you uh, I say, hey, miracle breakthrough because you are born again. No. You have to restore yourself 
in a little way that you can sleep and rest. When you wake up, you'll be able to know <laughs> what to nurse, what nurse. I might need to go to work or I need to stay at home. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to fast because this is the vision I have. You just fasting because of your problem. It, anytime you fast because you have a problem. So, should teacher now measure your Christian life? When it is where you are a Christian, when it is not where for you, no more church, no more prayer, which doctor? What we have been, we have given so many people. But I keep seeing people you have using it as a fashion. As a fashion. It's not fashion. We only trying to encourage you that you can as well use it as fashion. To, in order to encourage you to, to get used to it. If we now give you calorie, you will not use it. <laughs> calorie. Huh? Say it is a calorie, you will not use it. But you are now seeing something beautiful to encourage you as well as faith, also as fashion. Even you can take the one that match your color, your dress, even you have different color. Beautiful. You spend a lot of money to get all this done for you, to encourage you. Come with your hand and talk it with your heart. Take more of me, O oh Lord, and give me what? More of you. And what do you want God to give you? It's nature. Nature of God. Build Christ to you. Make you a part of Christ. Nature is nature. It's nature are just faithfulness, kindness, goodness, self-control, love, and all that. Take more of me. And your nature is unfaithfulness your nature. Arrogance is your nature. Hatred is your nature. Pride is your nature. You want him to take this and give him... This is... So, now I'm concerned about your... 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 your the glory. You will see... Testimony today, you will find that it's all about salvation. Look at the gentleman that come to testify. So we have almost uh, ten that are waiting to testify, but let's listen to one. After this one, we, I can move forward. Okay, please, let's be us at home. Please, thank you for your time. We we are talking about uh, faith baseless. I know you know much about this. Yes, it's one of the greatest tools you have. Cherish it. It will help you to talk about your faith instead of your doubts. It will help you to talk about your about the one who is fighting for you instead of your battle. Uh, sickness, poverty, uh, curse, nightmare. These are the things that always run in, your, in our brain. But when you have this, you begin to talk about the one who is fighting for you. It will also help you to focus on your comforter. Focus on your comforter instead of your enemies. Take more of me, give me more of you, take more of me, give me. Time with that number, I want to I want to I want to stand here telling you when you when you have this and you begin to to minister it. Count it with your hand and talk it with your heart. It's not the story. You can talk to people while you are, you are you are ministering. How are you? Fine. I can be praying for you at the same time while I'm counting. Because I'm not using this. This is just hand that is counting. My heart, my mouth is free to talk. I can, I can. 
When I want to eat, we I eat, I eat my food. When I want to sleep, put it on. When I want to I didn't move it, you need to know the button of this chair, my friend. So let's watch, listen to this testimony after this. Please, because of time, we stop from uh, this family. So we still have other family to listen to. Church, good morning. Emmanuel. My name is Mr. Odinaka Achumie. I came from Anambra State. This is my son, Somto Achumie. My wife, Chiwa Achumie. And my in-laws. Praise the Lord. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life and that of my family. First and foremost, I want to glorify the name of the God of Prophet TV Joshua for taking away shame and disgrace and spirit of death out of my family. And I, I too, I can't wait to glorify your God. I can't wait to glorify your God. But for now, it will be very hard for me now to say I glorify your God. So as you embrace the living God, so not what God has done, you are about to testify about. I want you to look inwards. No matter how much you master the scripture, without acting on it, without true obedience to what you have read, you still remain spiritual babies. Tell your neighbor, no matter how much you master the scripture, again, no matter how much you master the scripture without acting on the word, without true obedience to what you read, you will still remain spiritual baby. My son, so Tochuku called me from their school because he's a body student that he's not feeling well. I thought that it was just a minor case. And I instructed him to contact the school authority so that they can apply medication on him, which he did. After three days, he called me again. I said, what is the problem? He said, Daddy, the sickness is still there. I said, okay, prepare and come back home. Coming back home, before my very eyes, he came into my room and lie on my bed. I witnessed what he passed through. Heavy fever, cold, many types of sickness, same time, complaining about severe headache, that his eyes is closing, chest pain, stomach, hotness of the leg, hotness of inside the body. I said, ah, what kind of sickness is this? Then I moved out and went to the pharmacist to get drugs for him. After giving him drugs, he told me that, <laughs> let him just manage. I said, okay. About three days later, I asked him to go back to school. And I gave him some drugs so that he can now use to manage himself. Getting back to school, Two, two days again, he called me. Daddy, that problem is there. I said, what is all this now? Okay, start coming back. And that was on the 6th of um, March. I'm sorry, 5th of March. On Saturday. 
and that day I was preparing to go somewhere. I said, okay, if that sh should be the case, I will not suspend anywhere I'm going. Let me go to Scorn to go and try and tell my God what is happening in his life. And uh, I decided to come to Scorn with my wife on the 5th. Then 6th, we attended the Sunday Sunday. I want you to listen to this testimony. Very, very interesting. And it will help your faith. Listen. And uh, mainly, the purpose why I came was to come and fellowship with the church and now get my money water and go back home. So surprisingly, I, I saw some to that very morning. I said, my friend, what you have to do now is stay back home. Let me go to Lagos and come back with my wife. He said, okay. When I came to school, after two days, we left back to my destination at Zanambra State. I met him. I told him, my friend, look, all, you always complain of this descent sickness. The fact is, this is morning water. I know that with the mercy of God of Prophet Tim Joshua, he will see you through. Now prepare and go back to school. I gave him a bottle of morning water to go back to school. He said, okay. Few days later, he called me. Daddy, I'm coming back home. Oh, this sickness is still there. I said, Have you used your money water? He said, Yes. I said, How do you apply it? He said, He apply his body. It's like he feel that like he did not touch his body. He opened the bottle and pour all inside his mouth. And after he poured that um, bottle inside his mouth. That was where the problem started, the, the, the battle started. He said, immediately he poured all the money water inside his mouth. Then it's like there, are, there is war inside his body. Heavy burning sensation. Then he now decided to run back home because he feel like he's dying. And before he came back home, I've already gone for my daily job. Then he met my wife and narrated everything to her. Then my wife called me. Daddy, look at what Sundo said. Now that Sundo is back home. I said, my friend, what's your matter? He said, Daddy, I'm dying. Then I told my wife, I have morning water right at my cupboard. Take it and apply to him. He said, and she said, the one that Sundo applied is burning him seriously. I said, now I'm sensing the battle. Do what I told you. She said, okay. And after everything, she said so to the mother for tea. And she was afraid to give her the tea. Asking her, is this the last food that we eat in our house and give and die? Then I told her, no, that there's battle going on. What you will do? Use that money water, pour inside the tea. Then apply it on him, pray, and give him the tea to drink. And she did. She complied with my instruction. Immediately so to after giving him that tea, immediately he dish one spoon of tea and put it inside his mouth. He now told the mother, Mommy, there's a problem. Something from my stomach is now coming up to my chest. There's a problem. Then the mother said, what is that? He said that he feel like vomiting. Then my wife said, okay, vomit out, vomit it out. Then she now collect the morning water and spray on him again. Immediately, immediately, I said immediately, then that vomit just came from it, uh, up his mouth, he vomited it out. Behold, what we saw was pin, seven pins, right in my own bedroom. And he fainted. So my wife was weeping, crying, I said, so, see the pain. So, after committed that the pain, he fainted. Yes, sir. After committed, I mean, committing the pain, he fainted. Then my wife used that morning water to apply on him again, calling the God of property, Joshua. Please help my son. And that was when Soto was breathing as if he's going out. After some time, he now came calm down. 
and that's the end of the matter. Up to today, global hotness of the body. Which school, brother? Which school is he going? Um, St. John's um, Technical School, uh, Science and Technical School, I'm all. Come. Boy, what's your name? Huh? So you. you know you can lie for your dad and your mom, you know that? Yes. Can you lie for me? No. You know you are in a court. Yes. Huh? Yes. Tell, go and tell your mom and your dad. <laughs> Let him tell the spirit. Give him mic. How he joined the court? Secret court. Open and, and be free finally. So they immediately he has to leave the school and they have to look for another school immediately. He, 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 you listen, he's no more going back to that school. We have to look for another school. I will join you people to look for best school. The school is good, but because of we need to remove him from there. But it's in secret court. But he never mentioned it to the parent. Okay, tell us how you joined the court, secret court. My name is Sokuto Chuku Achimia Emmanuel. How I joined the secret court. In my just three, I found a boy. So he asked me that I should come and meet him in the hostel. So later at night, I met the boy. So he said I should escort him somewhere. So I, I, I escort him somewhere in the bush. So I saw many boys. Then they started flogging me knife and said I should lie down. So after flogging me knife, so they initiate me with razor, with egg at the bush. So after initiating me, from that day, I joined the secret court. Each pin representing the, their mission. It's not taking the, they are not giving him to swallow. By command, the pin enter him. It is by command the pin. As you Christian, by the power of God, you, you just command. They too, you know the Bible says we are not fighting the flesh and blood, but spirit being. Power of prosperity. It is by command that pain enter. It's not permitted just the way they are saying it. It is by command the pin come out, came out. But that money water don't play with it. It was, it was when the pin got to the open, it, be, it, it became pain. But from the stomach and all of that, it is, Invisible, invisible, I mean, it's not pain, but open, it becomes pain. Just it, they command it and it will be command it out. So they flog you. Yeah. Huh? Yes. What is the name of your court? Arubaga. Okay, it's all right. Forget about that. You listen to that? That's the name. What, what class are you? SS1, sir. SS1. Can you see your children at home? SS1, the first section of the secondary school. It's just primary school. At SS1. If this could happen to SS1, the beginner, so definitely your, your school, your student, your, your, your children, we need prayer, our future. SS1. Did you know 
know when this pain enter you no, sir. but you were given something like blood yes sir thank you so don't worry so let me just assure the father and mother that there is no problem so please i want to assure you no problem okay there's nothing to fear about what we needed to do now look listen mama do you know what we needed to do now right. immediately after the sorry wait for me <laughs> you, you will not go back to that school right. we we'll look for another school we ask god the direction right. but right now is But if this revelation is not coming, look, let me tell you, this revelation, if, assume this revelation that is in court is not coming and it's just being delivered, it means it is not, it still belongs to association, but the policy given to him is what we have removed, but it still belongs to association. But because of this revelation, we have removed him from association. Amen. Amen. So that, um, but do you suspect anything like that? I suspect that I know God. Eh? I suspect that I know my husband. No, no. Oh, yeah. Give it to your husband. Please take it easy. D did you in the? Did you suspect before? No, sir. I've, I've been telling him not to join anything secret court. He assured me that we never do that. Why did you tell him the little boy not to join? I told wait. You. Please look at my eye. Because at, at his age, you must have seen something. Listen, at, at secondary school, at secondary school, for you to be telling your son not to join Secret Corps, are you, are you seeing traces by a character, by attitude, because it's too early to tell a secondary school boy not to join Secret Corps? Why? Please yes. open up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just tell us everything. Uh, because yeah. it's, look, it's too early. <laughs> if we are to be university, it was in university when you know your boy and your lady, the kind of person they are, you will not even use your, you will not even mention that to them. But at secondary school, telling your little one, don't join secret call. <laughs> it's too early. And that language is too big for. Are you suspecting or by character or by attitude? What have you seen for you to say that kind of thing? Sir, um, the environment I was living before I parked out from there, almost all the youth of his age, they are all courtists. Yeah? Uh -huh. And that was why I instructed him, I don't want you to join with those boys in any issues. And that motivated me to pack out immediately from that place and went to another destination, very far from that area. Okay, so we, we are clear now. So because the environment, you have seen the little one and you were living in that environment before. Thank you. Apart from that, do you ever see us thinking or uh, by attitude, by character, this boy, if not, if not I said it now, did you think, did you, have you suspect anything strange? No, sir. I was even shocked that he just agreed. S stand up, stand up. Do you know the reason why I asked you to stand up? Trust yourself and God. You see, those of you that want to die because of your children, when you, when you see her, you will not trust anybody. Some of you are here, you can die because of your children, you trust them to any land. You trust them. You trust them to any land. When even you, you are not trust yourself. Ask your neighbor, do you trust yourself? No, ask your neighbor, ask yourself. Ask your neighbor, ask your face your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, do you know you don't trust yourself? Okay. Let him tell you the reason why I use that language, that you don't trust yourself. Do you know 
I, by the time I start moving now, do you know you can be a wizard and you don't know you're a wizard? So, can you see? You don't trust, you don't even know yourself. Do you know, by the time I move closer to you now, you start saying, yes, I'm a wizard, I have three power. I have several power. Yes, uh, yes, I am a pata, a pata, a, a pata, a pata. By the time they finish delivering, you say, huh? What have I said? Huh? Can you see? Somebody who trusts somebody. He, he doesn't even know who he is. So you don't trust yourself. If you trust yourself, you know whom you are. You don't know whom you are. You know you, know you may be a wizard or a witch, and you don't know you are a witch or a wizard. Actually, you are sitting in the church here. Eh? Any moment from now, you start saying what will happen. Somebody, the person that danced where in the church today? When they were dancing, we do like this. You dance, ah, I'm a pata, I'm a pata. <laughs> eh? So you don't trust yourself. Just love everyone and trust only God. trust yourself and you say you are trusting someone you are saying you are you trust yourself look at this bad, bad man it's not his fault he said he's struck when he answered yes that the man of god said do you know you are a court and he, he was expecting the son to say i don't know what is mean of court when the son said yes it's a court he said ah <laughs> you don't trust yourself and I have proof to you that you, are, you don't trust yourself. That any moment from now you can begin to say another thing. And after they feel the labor, you start covering your, your face. Because you don't know even you know whom you are. When you don't know whom you are, and you don't know you are a visa, you don't know you are a wish, and you now say you trust somebody. When you don't trust yourself, even you, you know you can kill yourself, and you don't like to kill yourself. Because of the spirit in you can kill you. And you don't want to die. Uh, you, you don't want to die, oh, but the one level inside you can kill you. You don't know it happened? Huh? So the reason why I say we should stand up is that please learn to trust only God and love everyone. Leave the world trust to God. Tell your neighbor, leave the world trust. To who? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Ask from today. Leave the world trust to God only. Love everyone. You may be seated. So, if anything not like uh, this father now, assume this father have not been trusted this boy and only love everyone, what is happening today will not surprise him. He will not say, well, I, I, I never trust you. I never trust you. But because he has trust him, this will have fed the Baba. He may not talk now. When he leave here today, he may hide in the corner and start crying. Say, hey, this boy, this boy I trust, this boy can do this to me. Oh, oh I will not trust anybody again. I've given my heart to this boy. And this is cause of heart attack. Many depression, many have committed suicide. Because when you trust someone and he has done otherwise, you will burn to commit suicide. Many of us today, the trouble many of us are facing today is as a sort of trust we give to people. If you have not been trust people and you only lost everyone, today, <laughs> whatever happened, you don't, mm, okay, what is the way out? But you have given your trust. You see people commit suicide. A lot happened in the war. They will say, I never expect any the next thing is suicide. I never expect any the next thing murder. I never expected. 
I never expect it. I never ever think about it. I never even believe it can go up. What? 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 What never believe it, it could happen? You see the mother started crying. And the mother is still very confused. They, they can't listen now until they live there. They will still go home and think. Because of trust. When you don't trust yourself and you want to trust people. You don't trust yourself. You don't know whom you are. Even you don't know what you can do. Every day you absolute yourself. You surprise yourself. Because you never believe you can do what you are doing. So then you do it. You never believe you can lie. And you lie. You just lie. By the time you finish lying, big one. You know, ah. I never believe that I can tell this big lie out. <laughs> if I'm right, let's open your hand. No, it's up every time. You know, say, huh? I never believe I can lie. Oh, I never lie in my life. But I have done this one. <laughs> yeah, you made a good try. You perform medical every day. <laughs> that is it. It has happened. Write it in your book. The word trust. It has ruined many homes. Many homes today. Maybe suddenly. The husband enter home and find another thing in the house with the wife, or wife find another thing with the husband. He could be dead, suddenly, and he, he or she never sick, but suddenly die. The wife and husband can commit suicide. By the time he commits suicide, has what happened? I never, I never, I never. That is trust. It has ruined many homes today. Many homes. Why are you talking about politics? Look at the politics today. They carry the world trust to the politics. By the time they fight, 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 at the end of the day, you start regretting what are you doing? Many home, many life, many day, many that has been ruined all over the world. Trust. Say trust. Leave the world trust to God only. Love everyone. This is what happened today. Thank you. You listen to me? Father, I hope you listen to what I said. Yes, sir. The word trust. Leave that well for God only. Love everyone. The love can, can be extreme. You can love someone so much, but ne never you apply the word trust. Love your son, your children so much. Trust. Trust. And when you say trust, you mean faith. Faith and trust is one. Are you with me? When you say, I have faith, when you have faith in something, in God, it's a trust you give. A trust means faith. They give trust. And we don't use the word faith to human God. Okay, so please, I will want to meet you people. Okay, the pain. Can you, can you video the pain and let us see it again? The pain that came out. These are the thing. These are the thing you people should find time to study in this ministry. Instead of finding out how it happened, how does it happen? Who is behind it? By what authority? This you have a law. Look at the pain. Look at just mere money water. Can you take one and let us see? You can take one round. Just give them, give them, and people look at it and return it. That is. You see. When you finish service today, there are many of things like that you need to, you can come some time to come and look. After the service, you have an opportunity. As the worker, you want to see that pain. You want to touch it, you want to see how it happened. This is a mystery thing. No, you can't take it around just because of time.
So after the survey, you can ask worker if you want to see the pain. You can use your answer to take picture. You want to see yourself. You want to touch it. You want to feel it. And there are many things like that. The question, how does he enter? By command. How does he come out? By command. Because it's not possible. This is medical doctor here. He knows that you cannot permit pain. It's not possible. Where will pain pass? Eh? It's not straight. If it is this, if this one is straight, it goes the straight. You can and it come. But how will you pin? Pin cannot bend. When it's coming from here, it can't bend. How does it come out? Even bone. Bone can bend, but you know what it means. It means by command it come out, it came out, and by command he, he entered. So me. This is your money water, do you have bottle there? That 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 are that are some sort of command. G give me. This is your money water. There are sort of command. Depend on your faith. Are you are you meaning? De depend on, if your faith is like this, the command here will be like this. If your faith is like this, the command here will be like this. Oh, I want somebody to camera this and listen to me. Your faith in what this. If your faith is like this, the command you get here like this. But if your faith is like this, the command you get here is like this. If your faith is B, the command. But there is what? There is what here? Command. We call it command, which is authority. So that is when you when you minister it in the name of Jesus, let there be your faith. Assume their their own their own faith is big like this, immediately the boy have to vomit it out. Even let's assume they have. I mean, let him, let him just talk. The least in them, they don't have belief, and they pour it. The boy will continue to have the pain. The thing will be arrested inside the stomach, and will continue to shout in pain. Something is burning me, or something is burning on tea. They bring the boy back to church. That it will not work, no. Let's assume you don't believe, and they give you. If you drink it, you minister it, the thing will be arrested. What will bring the thing out now? You don't have it because you have no faith, you believe. That until you carry it to where the, the faith will be applied to bring the thing out, but the thing will be arrested. Thank you very much. I want to meet you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You allow them. So you collect collect the team from them. Okay. Uh, please, I want to meet them immediately. They, they should not leave here for the sake of the boy until I see them. Okay? So thank you. So I think your faith is little of. What else again? Uh, you have seen enough. We have some people from other countries that want to share their testimony. But we are going to rest this and let us uh, now rise and uh, begin to seek the face of God for our restoration. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Majesty.